Hello everybody, my name is Kim and welcome to part 2 of Animated Map Generators. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to animate your Animated Map Generators so that they can affect multiple frames in an animation. Looking at our chest again that you saw in the last video, we have all of our animated mats applied to the chest lid as you can see here in the render. But as you go along the animation, you'll notice that there's a couple of frames here where the lid opens. Now, as you can see, our animated mat actually just stays where it is. It doesn't move with the lid, so we're going to have to adjust that so that it follows the animation. First things first, make sure that your mat inputs, so the drawings that are plugged into your animated mat generator, are exposed for the entirety of your animation. So expose them all the way to the end of the timeline. And we're going to start with the chest wood animated map generator. The next thing I want you to look at is when we click on our animated map generator, you'll see that it has its own little layer in the timeline with a star on it. Now that's where we're going to be setting our animation frames. Make sure that your animation man is on when you do this, otherwise it won't set the frames for you. Okay, now we can start animating our animated map generator. So make sure you have the animated map generator that you're animating selected and turn on show control so that you can see the controls of your generator. And on the first frame of our animated map generator, we are going to place a keyframe. So we're just keyframing the first position of our generator. And we're going to scroll along and we're going to find the next frame. So this is the next frame, the frame that opens up the lid. So at this point, you can see our map generator is not in the right place. So we're going to have to tweak this so that it affects the wood of the chest the way we want it to. Now, as you can see, I am just doing the wood of the chest first, and then I'm going to go through and do all of the slats afterwards. So before I change anything, I'm going to set another keyframe on my animated map generator layer. And then I'm going to tweak the position of my contours. Now if it makes it easier for you, you can turn off one at a time and just do each one. The contour will still snap, just like it did before. And once you're done with your outer contour, you can turn that off, turn on your inner contour, and then move those points to where you need them to be. Don't forget that you can manipulate the handlebars on your contours to get the shape that you want. Now if I turn on both contours again, you'll be able to see the difference between the previous frame and this one. And if I go into my render view, you'll be able to see what that looks like. Okay, it looks good. So we're just going to go do the next frame, which is two frames after the last one we just did. And we're going to add another keyframe. And we're going to go through the same process. Okay, so there you can see the contours that we have now compared to the contours that we had in the previous frame. And again, if we render, you'll be able to see how that looks in the render. And again, it looks pretty good. So let's go to the last frame of this animation. And as you can see, there's no more wood to be seen. So we don't actually have to apply any animation to our matte generator there. And actually at that point, you can delete the frames of your mat input because we don't need them. So I'm actually going to go ahead and do the rest of these animated mat generators. So the ones that are applied to the slats of the lid. And once I'm done, I'll show you guys what it looks like. See you soon. Hey, I'm back and I've animated all of my animated mat generators. So if you take a look at the first frame, you can see that everything is working and has been adjusted. If we render that, you can see what it looks like. Very nice. If we go to the next frame, you'll see again, all of the effects are in place. And if you go to the last frame, 
you'll see again all of the effects are where they need to be and if we go and turn on our effect oh it looks so pretty so you'll be able to see on each of my animated matte generator layers I have keyframes that I set for each effect happening on the lid exactly the same way that I did for the wood part of the lid and that's how you animate your animated matte generators in Toon Boom Harmony. I hope this video was educational and I'll see you next time.